feel. I'm not going to go into detail about this because it's really just common sense. I mean, you can draw a box and then you can grab the text tool, type in there, Jeff. You can type down. No. Like that. And obviously on slant. You can draw the custom shape and then type GF. If you see what I mean. If you don't know how to use a pen tool, um, YouTube search Ice Flow Studios. It's very, it's the same as Photoshop. Look for his tutorial to do that. I could try. Now, unfortunately, that is all one title. If you want to create a new title, what I like to do, what I'm going to do, you click New Title, and this icon is going to create a new title based on the current title. So you see all of this? It's basically just going to duplicate that title. You can rename it. I'm going to, just going to call it Title 2 for now. Then so you can change the text to Timmy. Then just close down this little box. And here we've got two titles added to our media project. And as you can see, it's all overlaid. And then obviously Title 2 is also overlaid. I've actually gone over 10 minutes, so I imagine you're watching Part 3 now. Which is cool, it's cool. Um, we can go about lining our clips up. As you can see, these are video tracks and these are audio tracks. If you want to add more, you can right click if it let me right click. Right click on the master and press add tracks. I want to add two video tracks and 15 audio tracks. And as you can see, it adds all these tracks. You can use these bar here to scroll. Now what do these arrows mean? Well that basically expands the timeline track. So if I click there it gives me a little preview, which is really handy to work, and I like to work with all my stuff to the pop audio when I know what everything is, I will make it small. Okay, um, so we got that all up and running. So, what do, can we do now? Well, we can add some transitions. So, let's put these videos together and let's come down to our effects tab got video transitions and I'm just going to go for a dissolve cross dissolve that means they're going to fade over each other what I like to use is that what is what I use a lot is a dip to black if you type in this search thing then you can type a word and it's going to show you everything from all of these icons that have a similar name which means you can access your most use effects really quick so it's going to dip to black and that middle point is going to be completely black and it's going to load up with that and then our title if you put a dip to black on the title it's going to it's going to dip the whole screen to black again which is not what you want really so for titles you want to add a cross dissolve because then it's going to cross dissolve over, cross dissolve over nothing and then it's just and it's just going to fade on Audio. There's two types of audio transitions: a constant gain and a constant power. Oh, and there's an exponential fade. I'm not used to CS4 so much, so that's why I didn't know. It's a constant gain. Drag that on. Basically, it's going to dip slightly, whereas the constant power will keep its audio track, and they're just going to fade over each other more. It really doesn't matter which one you use, they're both going to do very similar things. Okay, what else can we do? Well, over here's the audio mixer. So say, let's bring this audio. I just moved all that over, as you can see, you can drag and move. If you highlight more than one item, you can move stuff. Now here's a really handy feature. See this gap? I can click in this gap see it's highlighted right click and press ripple delete and guess what that does 
it deletes that section and brings all your clips together. So say you're editing loads of stuff here and loads of stuff over here because you don't know how much space you're going to need, then you can just rip or delete them together. Very handy. Okay, so say I want audio track 3 to be louder than audio track 1, then on audio 3 I can bring that up and I can bring number 1 down. And as you can see, each one corresponds. So if I rename that to Jeff, you can see that it has been down here, it's been renamed to Jeff. You can call it Timmy. Fred. I mean, you, you can do this all day, it's, it's, it's your choice. But they're just random names off the top of my head. Well, that's pretty much like some basic editing. I'm just going to fill these few minutes shortly. Right. Here's a very handy thing. The history thing is going to tell me, the history panel, it's going to tell me all the things I've done. So say I wanted to get rid of that ripple delete, to select it. Backspace, are you sure you want to delete this action? Yes. And it's going to undo that, but it's going to keep all of the other things I've done, which is very handy. Because it means you don't have to go back and back and back, undo, 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 and then get rid of that one thing, and then redo everything again. I hope you guys are following me. Metadata, that just tells you information on your selected video clips. Now here's a cool thing. Say, you want, say I wanted to preview my movie. I'm going to ripple delete that again. I can right click on the corner of this window, press maximize frame, and then I've got a full screen preview like that. Very good. And then right click again, restore frame size, and then I'm back where I was. So, oh, by the way, what I do is instead of keep on going back to that razor blade tool and then back to the select tool, say I want it to cut here. Well, what you can do is select the tracks you want cutting. So say I don't want the title cut, I've got to make sure that video 2 is not selected. You know it's selected because it's a lighter colour like here. And I want audio 1, I do not want audio 1 cut, then I can, it will probably cut it anyway. Um, because, no it won't. However, it might cut this because they're linked together. Do you see what I mean? If you want to unlink video with audio, right click, unlink move that over there okay so we've got video one selected command k or control k it's going to split that clip so now i've got two clips out of there and i didn't even go to the razor blade tool you want to become the, your selection tool is or whatever it's called yeah it is the selection tool is your it's it's your key tool and you want to keep on using it and you want to stay on it as much as possible you can select tracks by just clicking on them if you want to hide a track click on this eye so and then I'll put it back on as you can see my titles are in there so it's going to get rid of them and such display style well say I don't like seeing this um, preview I can turn that off to show name only I can set it to show frames, which is going to, as you can see, press the equals or plus sign, whatever you like to call it, to zoom in. You can see it's going to show all the frames. The I, I like it set as the default as show head only. Actually, I tell you what, I like it to show head. Oh, yeah, that'll do. No, I do. I I get the video as well. Don't I? The name, yeah, sorry, for me a second ago. Okay, well that's the end of that part, and I'll see you on part four.